competitor in the 2012 PSI Dressage and Jumping with the Stars FEI Grand Prix CDIW class. First into the arena is Roxbury Armistice, written by Megan Willis from Victoria. Our judges today are Peter Engel from Germany at B, at C, Maria Colliander from Finland, at E, Susie Huvenars Australia, at H, Eddie de Wolf van Westerode from the Netherlands, and judge at M, Mary Seafried from Australia. Welcome to our live feed. Um, we're here today at Werribee for Equestrian Life at the 2012 PSI Jumping and Dressage with the Stars. Um, the class about to begin is the FEI Grand Prix CDIW. Our judges today at B, Peter Engel from Germany, at M, Mary Seafried Australia, at C, Maria Colliander from Finland, at H, Eddie de Wolf Van Restoroda from the Netherlands and Judge at E, Susie Huvenars, Australia. Competition today, the highest level dressage competition. Uh, we're outdoors here at Werribee. Uh, it's really quite windy, um, sunny, uh, people starting together to gather for the first into the arena. Um, Victorian rider Megan Willis and Roxbury Armistice. The Grand Prix test, the test which will be ridden in London for the uh, Olympic medals for the team event, followed by the Grand Prix special, entering in collected canter very shortly. Roxbury Armistice now. Uh, becoming established at Grand Prix level. Uh, we have quite a big field today. Um, some of our Australian riders already on their way to the final qualifications in London. However, we have Heath Ryan and Regarde Moi, multiple Grand Prix winner. We have Kerry Mack, Mayfield Pizzazz, the beautiful jazz stallion who's represented Australia at the World Young Horse Championships and Grand Prix competitor for some years now. We have Tor Vanderberg with Fisherman's Friend, the licensed Hall Hanoverian stallion. We have Nadia Coglin, a former Australian Grand Prix champion, today riding Northern Campion. We have Fiona McNaught and Ostra, Fiona, uh, Victorian, um, from Boneo Park, uh, an up-and-coming future star. We have the beautiful Django of Cacharel, a uh, gorgeous Frisian stallion, ridden by Jeremy Jancic. We have a second Frisian, uh, Ebony Park Arbe, but right now into the ring, Roxbury Armistice entering in collected canter. The halt, a little wide behind, but uh, hesitation forward in working trot. turning left at C and the first of the extended trots. Preparation on the haunches and into the extended trot. Nice beginning. Now for the, the second movement. Coming back could be a little more weight behind. First of the half passes. Perhaps a little more engagement. Oh, and some problems. There's dust here today and really interrupted. So unfortunately the score well below the sufficient here and, and walking beginning now in the left trot half pass. So um, unfortunate there. Left half pass could be a little more parallel, but considering the interruption in the first, back on track now. Transition to halt before the rein back, five steps, and then immediately proceed in collected trot.
and the second of the extended trots coming up to a transition at V into the passage. The extended trot, a really forward lengthened trot with the horse with a lengthened stride, a lot of push required from the hind legs. Transition to passage, neatly done, and the passage, a highly elevated trot into the Piaf, which is in the trot rhythm, but more or less in place, requiring a lot of strength behind. Rakshmi is just, just a little tight in the back and could take more weight on the hind legs. Slight hesitation, could be straighter in the transition out, but back into the passage, a little stronger in the passage than in the Piaf. Now the extended walk, the extended walk ridden on a diagonal line from P across to H, at H the transition to the collected trot. In the extended walk, we're looking for a big overstep, the hind legs uh, stepping well in front of the foot, for the prints of the forefeet, the horse lengthening his frame but swinging right through his body. Now the collected walk, the collected walk, shorter, higher steps, the rhythm should still be clearly four beat and getting a little dangerous here. The collected walk should be a noble gait. And coming up to the transition to passage at M. Small hesitation but now into the passage. Passage M, B, a turn. Hesitating, perhaps anticipating the PF coming up at I. And now into the PF could be taking more weight behind, could be stepping better under. Slight hesitation but now into the passage and ah, interrupted again. So while we saw the passage as something of a a positive for this horse. We've had two interruptions in the passage either side of I. Hesitation into the canter and could be a little more through the pole and into the outside rein. Not easy conditions here today and being first on into the arena. Into the two time changes, the second of the changes, the third of the changes, fourth, every second stride, fifth, sixth, seventh, there's nine to all together and there's the ninth. So accurate, could be a little more uphill, could be pushing off more with more strength from the hindquarters, but accurately performed. And now into the extended canter, more length, more push from behind, then back onto the hind legs, taking the weight for the flying change. Could be a little more through the body and over the back down the centre line. One of the more difficult movements in terms of precision, the zigzag half pass, six strides now to the right. The flying change, six strides, three, four, five, six. Again, oh, counting mistake there. Back to the right and a little hesitation. So sometimes to the left, leading a little with the quarters. Could be better balance and miss the flying change um, at G. So again, errors slipping in. Errors in the trot half pass to the right. Errors in the zigzag. Now into the one time changes. Changes of lead every stride. Could be a little more uphill. Uh, uh, interruption and then real problems at the end. Loss of understanding. The horse not really um, with the rider there. Again, I, I guess difficult conditions, the sand blowing. Now on the centre line and the rider has chosen to retire after the one time changes. It's, it's an option that the, the rider has. She's chosen not to ride her counter pirouettes and not to complete the test. Sometimes um, the right decision.